All right, another quick down and dirty video. So you're probably gonna hear some noise in the background with the wind rushing around, but hey, I didn't wanna go upstairs and get my audio equipment for this because I wasn't even planning to do a video today. But as always, just trying to throw ideas out there to help improve your life and allow you the ability to do what you wanna do with your truck. Um, I got this little thin wireless charger. It's not a fast charger, but it's a wireless charger. My 2017 Dodge Ram uh, has this nifty little thing here and if you watch my videos you see how I bring cables in here to charge phones but it doesn't give you the ability for a wireless charger uh, I thought about trying to retrofit something behind here but that's going to be pretty tough to do to get it back behind there and the problem is this rubber right here is too thick and it doesn't really charge the phone now I could put this in the bottom of that like that I could put it over here where you can just set a phone in there but I think what I'm going to do is put it in this space here now I've already replaced the cables, but you can see taking this cover off and then that one down here, there's a bolt there, two bolts here takes this out, but I'm going to sneak this guy down in here to where it'll eventually rest inside of my little uh, holder here, the, the rubber insert that comes out. When that does, it's going to fit in there flat and it's going to give me great access for wireless charging. Um, and, you know, again, it's not fast charging, but hey, what if I have a device that I don't care when it gets done charging and I'm on a long haul and I just want to throw it in there. Typically, keep napkins in there, things like that, because what else the hell are you going to put in there? Uh, but it'll fit in there nicely. Uh, I'll probably create a little hole for that to get in through a little slit. And then I'll tuck it down into this little slot back there so that I can plug it into a 12-volt source that I've created in here. Watch my other video. It shows you how to do that. Um, now, I uh, blocked that out because this came from a company, I don't want to throw their name out there, but if people ask, you could probably research that little number there, get a hold of that company, find out um, how you can get one of these little wireless charging pads, but this dude fits in that particular slot perfectly. Um, again, I'm going to rely mostly on my wired chargers because I have a QC or QI, whatever the hell they call it, uh, fast charger in the back. So that I can do my navigation and my music. Yes, I have nav on this car, but I'm not paying $130 every year to update a, a map that doesn't tell me traffic patterns. Um, and maybe I'm wrong on that, I don't know. But that's what we're gonna do. I will show the finished product when we're done. You won't even know that's in there. Um, I'm undecided if I'm gonna set it on top of this, which I'll probably do, because it's pretty thick rubber. And when you have a phone case, it won't always go through. Um, and give you what you want or desire the outcome that you want. And I'll hold it in place here with some sticky pads, some 3M sticky pads, and that way that little uh, wireless pad doesn't move forward on me. So that's an easy way you can add wireless charging to your vehicle and have it concealed to where you don't disrupt the way the vehicle looks and all of that. So um, we'll get back to you in a bit. Thank you. All right, so here's my finished product. I've got that little key fob just to protect the name of the people that gave that to me. A little charging pad is down in there. That will fit a full-size Note, the latest Note 20, Note 22, whatever Samsung's got out. Um, but my phone will charge in there, and I won't see that. Um, it's kind of, this one's actually nice. It's kind of got a cloth material to it. Uh, it'll be covered by napkins most of the time. But if I ever want to put a drop of device in there, I can wirelessly charge it and not have to worry about plugging it in. Replace my plugs. These can get tucked, pushed back into that hole when not in use, things like that. But then that allows them to come in from the bottom and charge the phone without having to be plugged in here with an adapter and then a bunch of coiled up wires in there. So clean install. That's what it looks like as a finished product. So hopefully that helps somebody and they can put wireless charging in their truck if they want.